promise of a Tesla for just $15,99 seemed, until recently, like something out of an internet rumor. But in 2026, that rumor took shape, wheels, and even a name, Tesla Model 2. And it's not just the price that's causing a stir, it's what that price represents. With gasoline prices rising and insurance increasingly expensive, the average consumer no longer wants luxury. They want freedom. And that's exactly what this car promises to deliver. Real access to the world of electric vehicles without having to sell a kidney in the process. Elon Musk, with his usual provocative style, seems to have understood that the future of cars depends not only on innovation, but on inclusion. Now, between us, is it really possible to deliver a decent Tesla for that price? The answer lies in the right choices the company made. First, they cut the superfluous without removing the essential. No electric seats with massage or LED panels all over the interior. The focus is different. The average consumer doesn't want a car that wobbles. They want one that works well and is cheap to maintain. And faced with fierce competition from BYD and other Chinese manufacturers, Tesla had to play hardball, targeting the entry-level segment directly. If they miss that target, this model could become a historic fiasco. But the Model 2 wasn't meant to be a cheap and boring Tesla. Seats, it came with the mission of maintaining the brand's DNA, even at the price of a popular hatchback. And that implies a very delicate balance, delivering performance, range, and striking design without exceeding the cost. Speculation surrounding a possible price increase to use $30,000, or even use $40,000, has generated panic in online communities. But for now, Tesla insists it will keep its promise. The question that remains is, for how long? Moreover, this promise has another inherent risk. If the launch price is different, the breach of trust could be fatal. The market is sensitive, and any slip-up becomes a scandal on social media. What was once excitement turns into outrage with a click, even more so now, in 2026, with much more demanding and informed consumers. Elon knows this. And that's why Tesla has been carefully constructing every detail of this narrative. Leaked images, street tests, all fueling the hype without compromising too much. Another curious point is how the name Model 2 was never officially adopted. To this day, Elon has only mentioned it in a few interviews. Some call it Model Q, others Baby Model Y. But that hardly matters. What really matters is the function it fulfills being Tesla's gateway for millions of people who never imagined driving an electric car. And that's where the magic lies, selling a dream at a price that fits in your pocket. Speaking of dreams, it's worth remembering that the Model 3 already fulfilled that role in part, but it was still inaccessible to many. Now, with the Model 2, Tesla wants to break that last barrier, to transform desire into reality. And if it manages to keep this car below $16,000, even with limited resources, it will have already made history. After all, that price puts the Model 2 below many combustion engine cars still sold in Brazil, the US, and even Europe. The first images of the Model 2 reveal a compact car with its own simplified look, but without losing the futuristic charm typical of Tesla. Unlike the Model 3 and Model Y, it features a cleaner front end with single headlight clusters and smoother lines to improve aerodynamics. The goal is clear, cut out everything that isn't essential and maintain style. Even the 18-inch wheels were designed to reduce resistance and fuel consumption while also lowering maintenance costs. And if you look closely, you'll notice that it's not just about saving money, it's pure strategy. Inside, the cost cutting is even more evident. Goodbye to leather seats with electric adjustment and rear screens. The Model 2 opts for fabric seats, a manually adjustable steering wheel, no sunroof, and a clean dashboard dominated by a single 15.4-inch screen. There's no rear window or premium sound system, but the interior space is surprisingly spacious. Despite being more compact, 
The car offers similar comfort to the Model Y, with a generous cargo area and a well-utilized cabin. Everything was designed with the mantra, less is more, engraved in the metal. This minimalist approach goes beyond aesthetics. It's functional. The Model 2 doesn't have a panoramic sunroof, but this reduces weight and improves structural rigidity. Are the mirrors manually adjustable? Yes, but do you remember the last time you had to adjust that more than once a year? Tesla is doing what other automakers fear, breaking the myth that a car needs luxury to be desirable. And it's teaching consumers to prioritize intelligence over ostentation. In fact, it was about time this happened in the automotive sector. Even without high-end features, the car doesn't feel unfinished. The Tesla driving experience, with all the integration between engine, software, and energy efficiency, remains. It's like an entry-level version of a premium smartphone. You lose the triple camera, but you still carry the power of a complete system in your pocket. And in the case of the Model 2, in the steering wheel, the choice of materials, although simpler, seems carefully thought out to last and withstand everyday use without unpleasant surprises. The front panel has no shiny bezels or chrome finishes. Instead, it features a matte surface, which is practical and less reflective. Almost all physical buttons have been eliminated, which, honestly, might bother those who prefer tactile controls, but it gives the interior a 2026 feel, and Tesla has already shown it knows how to handle this type of criticism, offering software updates and fine-tuning based on user feedback. If something becomes bothersome in real-world use, there's a good chance a digital solution will follow soon. Another interesting detail is the rear ventilation system, which has also been simplified. Without a digital air vent in the middle of the rear seats, everything is adjusted manually. This may seem like a step backward, but for those thinking about long-term maintenance, it's a relief. Fewer electronic components mean fewer things to break and lower repair costs. This philosophy is repeated in several aspects of the car, from the simplified suspension to the use of modular and easily replaceable parts. What's most striking is that, even with drastic cuts in finish and equipment, the Model 2's performance hasn't been sacrificed. According to estimates, the car will be able to accelerate from 0 to 100 km h in about 6 seconds, only slightly slower than the Model Y. For an entry-level electric car, this number is surprising. Many combustion engine sedans in this price range take almost twice as long to reach that speed. And for everyday drivers, this difference translates into safety when overtaking, agility in traffic, and an extra dose of driving fun. This agility is only possible thanks to Tesla's expertise in highly efficient electric motors. Even using a cheaper motor than its premium models, the Model 2 promises to maintain the tradition of delivering instant torque and smooth acceleration. And here's a personal opinion. If it truly delivers this performance, we're looking at one of the most balanced cars of the decade. After all, it's not every day you see a vehicle that costs less than a Corolla and has the performance of a lightweight sports car. This changes the consumer's perception of what affordable means. Another essential point in this package is weight. The Model 2 will be lighter than its larger siblings, which benefits both performance and handling. Tesla seems to have opted for a compact structure with optimized mass distribution and a low center of gravity, typical elements of the brand's engineering. The result should be a car that is agile in curves, stable at high speeds, and comfortable for urban use. All this, of course, without requiring gigantic batteries or extremely expensive components. Speaking of comfort, it's worth highlighting that even with a simpler suspension, Tesla knows how to calibrate the system to avoid turning potholes into nightmares. The experience gained with the Model S, 3, X, and Y will be applied here with intelligent adaptations. And even if the car doesn't offer the smoothness of a luxury vehicle, the Model 2 doesn't intend to compete with them. It aims to destroy the idea that an affordable electric car needs to be slow, stiff, or uncomfortable. And everything indicates that it will succeed. Another element that strengthens this promise is 
Energy efficiency. Tesla has already proven itself a master at squeezing miles of range from smaller batteries. In the Model 2, the combination of reduced weight, aerodynamic design, and optimized motor should result in exemplary energy performance. Tesla has never launched a weak car, and that shouldn't change now, especially since the competition is fierce. BYD, MG, and other Chinese brands are offering fast and inexpensive models, forcing Tesla to maintain its engineering advantage. And we can't forget the software, one of the pillars of the Tesla experience. Even in entry-level models, the intuitive interface, navigation system, and AI-based safety features should be present. Perhaps not with all functions activated from the factory, but with the possibility of future upgrades. This means that the car's performance can literally improve over time, thanks to OTA updates, something no other automaker offers in this price range. Of course, none of this would make sense if the autonomy let the driver down. And this is where one of Tesla's biggest technical bets for the Model 2 comes in. The Lithium Iron Phosphate Battery, or simply LFP. This technology is already well known in the Chinese market and has gradually gained ground in Tesla models worldwide. The choice of LFP is not accidental. It offers a rare combination of durability, safety, and low cost. Even with lower energy density than NCA batteries, Tesla is betting on a pack of around 53 Clalibriver, which promises to deliver up to 310 miles of range, equivalent to almost 500 kilometers under ideal conditions. This number didn't come out of nowhere. It's the result of a very well thought out combination of aerodynamics, engine efficiency, and energy management. The car was designed to do more with less. The compact body helps cut through the wind, the low-resistance tires reduce friction losses, and the software system manages every watt with an intelligence worthy of a SpaceX rocket, literally. After all, part of the engineering philosophy comes from the team that created the Falcon 9 systems. It's this kind of synergy that makes it possible to achieve 310 miles with a smaller and cheaper battery. It's worth remembering that the LFP has another important advantage. It supports more charge cycles without losing capacity. In other words, it's a battery that lasts longer. This means the Model 2 can accompany its owner for more than a decade without significant performance drops, a crucial point for those concerned about long-term investment. And unlike nickel-cobalt-based chemistries, the LFP is more thermally stable, which drastically reduces the risk of overheating or fires. For a car aimed at the general public, this is a huge advantage. Another factor weighing in on the decision for LFP is the environmental impact and the stability of the supply chain. Lithium is still a contested resource, but iron and phosphorus are much more abundant and cheaper. This makes production more predictable, especially on a large scale. And when we're talking about a car that aims to sell millions of units per year, this predictability is fundamental. After all, there's no point in announcing a popular Tesla if you don't have enough batteries to deliver. And it seems that Elon Musk has learned this lesson in recent years. And there's more. By using smaller batteries, the car also becomes lighter, which positively affects performance, fuel consumption, and even charging time. It's a virtuous cycle. A lighter vehicle needs less energy to move, allowing for simpler tires and leaner engines which in turn further reduces weight. All this without sacrificing the user experience. It's as if every design decision was made to extract the maximum possible return on every dollar invested. And honestly, it seems they succeeded. But of course, it's not all roses. The 310 mile range is still viewed with skepticism by some experts. Many believe that, in practice, the real number will be between 260 and 280 miles, especially in cold climates or with the air conditioning on all the time. Even so, even if the real range is slightly less, it remains competitive for most urban and suburban drivers. And if the car charges quickly enough, range ceases to be such a big problem. Tesla knows this, and that's why it has invested in optimizing the supercharger network and the route planning system 
Speaking of upcoming technologies, it's impossible to ignore the buzz surrounding aluminum ion batteries. Many people are already wondering if the Model 2 will receive this innovation in 2026, or if it will remain restricted to LFP for a few more years. The idea of a battery that charges in minutes and uses abundant materials like aluminum is seductive, especially when considering the environmental impact and scalability of production. But there's more to it than meets the eye. Although promising, the aluminum ion battery still faces a major obstacle, low energy density. And that, in a car that promises 310 miles of range, is a huge challenge. To maintain this autonomy with aluminum ion batteries, Tesla would have to install a larger and heavier battery pack. This means more material, more space occupied, and inevitably, more cost. In other words, the car would cease to be light and cheap, exactly the opposite of the Model 2's proposition. It's a classic engineering dilemma. If you improve one thing, you worsen another. And if the price rises to compensate for the new battery, the car's main differentiating factor is lost. Therefore, everything indicates that Tesla will still hold off on the large-scale adoption of this technology, at least until it manages to reduce the size and cost of aluminum ion cells. Of course, there are strategies to compensate for these limitations. Tesla could further refine the aerodynamic design, use ultralight aluminum alloys and high-strength steel in the structure, or invest in ultra-low friction tires. All of this would help maintain range without needing a huge battery. But each of these solutions is expensive and goes against the goal of delivering a $15,990 car. In short, it's not yet feasible to combine aluminum ion, long range, and low price in a single package. Yet, the point is that Tesla doesn't just want range. It wants to deliver truly fast charging. And that's where aluminum ion technology shines. This chemistry allows ions to move much faster than in current batteries. In practice, this means charging hundreds of kilometers in 10 or 15 minutes. It's almost like refueling a combustion engine car. For those who live on the road, this is a game changer. Even if the range isn't huge, if the charging is fast enough, the car becomes viable for any type of journey. But there's a significant caveat. The infrastructure. To recharge a car in such a short time, it's not enough to have an advanced battery. The charging network needs to be able to handle the load. Adapted superchargers, thicker cables, sophisticated cooling systems, all of this comes into play. And it's not cheap. Furthermore, the car's own internal components, such as inverters, thermal controllers, and high-voltage cables, need to be redesigned to withstand the brutal energy load in just a few minutes. The battery may be ready, but the rest of the ecosystem is still playing catch-up. Another technical issue that arises is lifespan. Although aluminum ion technology promises greater thermal resistance and less risk of overheating, it will still take time to validate its durability in real-world automotive use. How many cycles can it withstand? How does it react in extreme temperatures? How much capacity does it lose over the years? These are questions that only time can answer. And Tesla, despite being bold, doesn't usually bet on immature technology in a mass market product. This is because any large scale failure translates into a global recall and that costs billions. If the battery is the heart of the Model 2, mass production is the circulatory system that will ensure this car reaches the streets of the entire world. And in this respect, Elon Musk seems to have prepared a true industrial revolution. The promise to produce up to 42 la toine en tonne et 40 